Alrighty, side pass, and we're going to do a little knee pop, knee lift. Pitch. Yeah, <laughs> um, and it'll feel like it's quite fast because I'm going to keep normal timing and then I'll talk about extending the pattern. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't make it all the way around on the track, but it doesn't matter. I don't have to be blocking the girl. If I'm good at Keeping my body in the right place, I can adjust anywhere in the pattern. So we'll do that on this side. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Kerry didn't know I was going to leave that part, but she stayed really connected. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. And from this end, and one, two, three, four. And I'm really going and three, four there. Five, six, seven, eight, one. All right, I think that was quite a good little explanation, but we've got to add a little fun piece in here. Um, well, we'll do it from this side. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Oh, I messed that up. Oh my God, sorry, it was basic timing at the start. Seven, eight, one, two, three, uh, four. And then from here, once I've engaged the girl, R5, R6, now I'm back on timing, one, two, three, four. So let's do this from the other side and I'll see if I can do it a little bit better. Seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, or R4 would actually be the correct time. R5, R6, seven, eight, one, two. All right, we'll try doing it from this way. Seven, eight, one, two, three, R four, R five, R six, seven, eight, one, two. So I could get into my other patterns. Really yeah, it'd be really fun. <laughs> See, that be a lot of fun. Don't worry about patterns, learn musicality. So much more fun for both of us. Seven, eight, one, two, three, R four, R five, R six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. All right, and I'm going to show you how to put that on the back of the pattern as well, which would really be the restart of a new one. And kick or change, come in, rotate, boom, and kick or change, kick or change, kick or change. So Kerry read that beautifully. I love that. All right, and then you can start to play with it a little bit. Seven, eight, kick, ball change, walk, walk, rock, step, pivot, turn, rock, step, kick, ball change, kick, ball change, kick, ball change. There is a technique to leading that kick, ball change at the end of the pattern to restart. It'd be great to keep your musicality. I stay up, I keep my body back, kick, ball, change, and then Kerry feels that rhythm change in that movement. If I'm really connected through my closed frame and yes. I'm looking at a visual is important, I kick, feel his core going back, so I know kick, ball, change. that it's not going to be full rock step or walk forward. Even if Kerry gets back and she just holds, I do a kick ball and she holds, it looks like a kick ball. And then we change out and then we can get, and then we can like get really funky if we want to. And Shane is patient there as a leader because I may or may not catch it on the first one, but giving me a chance to pull up next to him on the second or third is always yeah. a really nice thing to do. And once you get used to playing with these rhythms, it allows the girl to realize that you do have other themes, other tools in the toolbox, and she will bring out some of her tools and offer them over, and then you'll start to match each other, and then one will do something slightly different, and you'll do something quirky, and it'll become a little game, which will be fun.